Hi, you're in tune to Nia's health tips. Now, if I were to say to you castor oil, it will probably bring back childhood memories of you having to line up in front of your mum or your dad with your brothers and sisters for your washout. Well, today I'd like to share with you a tip in which you can use castor oil for another purpose. If you are a person who suffers from congestion, whether it be in the head, sinuses, chest or all over the body, castor oil can be used to break down this congestion and here's how. Run a hot bath, as hot as you can take it, and to the bath add two to three cupfuls of Epsom sea salt, dead sea salt, or um, your normal sea salt. Um, rub your body from the neck down, right down to your toes, with the castor oil, and then you climb into the bath and you stay there for at least 20 minutes. The castor oil heats up the body and breaks down the congestion. The bath salts actually draws a toxin through your skin. So this is helping you to feel more relieved. Once you've done this, towel dry and then wrap up. For at least one hour you need to rest or if you're doing this at night then you just go to bed and um, you should wake up feeling more relieved than when you started this process. Okay, so if you're a person that has been suffering from congestion for a very long time, um, what you need to do is do this process three times in one week and you do that for three weeks so if you're going to do this you do Monday Tuesday Wednesday of one week the following week you do the same again and then as I said you do that for three weeks and you will see the difference after that period and that's Nia's health tip Afro Toys Afro Toys She'll be holding my hands and she's guiding me where I'm going to. It's not me doing it, it's her doing the whole thing. So Jess, can you tell me why have you decided to do this project uh, within the community? Because I like I've always really loved acting and I kinda wanted to share like my passion for it and my love for it with other young people. And like when I was younger, like, and then I used to go out on sh like not on the street, but like I was like kind of being influenced and stuff. I started going to drama classes and everything, and it was making me, it was making me like, it was bettering myself, and it was making me more focused, and it gave me something to to work towards, and it gave me goals. And hopefully, what I'm trying to do with it is like a couple of the people might have been necessary, not all necessarily, but they might not know where they're going with their life. They might have been kicked out of school, getting into trouble. So it kind of gives them something to focus their minds on something to be passionate about, something to enjoy and to show them that, yeah, they might not necessarily come from this and go straight onto television but it gives them something to work towards and to try and motivate them so then they have higher goals and stuff to work towards. What made you think acting though, out of everything? Because no, before this I was you know, kind of like, how would I say, like, I didn't talk up a lot and now now I do this, I just talk up, I don't feel no way to talk up in it, like, I just, I just be, now I'm actually being me, really, innit? You come out of your shell, yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. Ah, you're getting wound up, she's embarrassing you, but you know you're in the wrong. Um, I get in contact with agents, cast and directors, get them to come and watch the shows. I've already started getting in contact with people, and then it can open up opportunities for other people. If they show that they're committed and they're motivated and they'll work hard, hopefully it'll all it will pay off because they're getting more, they'll get more out of the sessions because they're learning more. I'll be doing like monologues with them so they get more of an idea of what to do in the industry and then hopefully it could lead on to other things or give them, even if it doesn't lead on to other things and they don't want to act in the future, then at least it's giving them something to do and something positive to do rather than just nothing at all because a lot of the people have like started to get jobs or they've decided they want to go uni or do certain courses so if I can do more like stuff like that, that's kind of like 
why I want to do it. And just because we all like kind of love acting really and it's, everything else is expensive. So are you doing this off your own back or are you getting any support? No, no support. Like everything, if we get set or like at the moment the mill, um, they're letting us use their space for free. But they might be shut down and they don't always have enough staff. So sometimes we can't rehearse there. So we don't, then we might have to go to someone's house. It's not really convenient because there's not enough space. We're not getting no money, like everything. If we need to set, like costume, props, like that's all from our own homes or from like out of my own pocket and not really afford to do that. All right, so if you could send a message to the community, what help would you like? Like if anybody has any rehearsal spaces, props, set, anything they could lend us, like it would be really, really appreciated. And um, any, any, any sort of advice... If anybody's willing to contribute anything, maybe like charities, I wanted to get in contact with maybe like Brooke as well, like, and then maybe get, I don't know, because that's a charity themselves, but anybody that's willing to put money into us, hopefully eventually they might see something out, and even if they don't see anything out financially, it, it's really good because we're helping the community and we're going to take the performances around schools, like, because we wanted to... Educa- with it, we wanted to educate, inspire, and entertain. That's what we like decided we want to do. So we're taking it to school. So we're hopefully like giving the same sort of message across to to young people and doing kind of like funny, funny performances that have serious elements to it, so that they can relate to it and it's educating them as well, but like in an entertaining way. So what about like if any young people would like to get involved? What age group or? It's mainly for people that's like college plus or sixteen plus. But like, if there's anyone that's younger and they're showing that they're motivated or whatever, then, and they're willing to do it and they want to put the time in, then that, they're more than welcome to come. It would be like a pleasure for that to happen, really. But the only problem would be is sometimes we might do performances in school time, so they'll just be a bit limited to what they can do and how much performances they can do. But eventually they'll work their way up and get to coming around and travelling to like during that time. And we could always adapt if we did have younger people to the new circumstances. Okay, so what training did you go through? Um, I trained at um, ITV, so I had like training in theatre, film, and TV and radio. So I was trained to act for all of the all of the different like media films. And then I've like off of my own back, I've went and got own, my own experience, like working with production companies, like local ones, going to London a lot, doing auditions, looking for open auditions, just trying to get experience like that. Really going to workshops, um, workshops in the tobacco factory. But a lot of the things is like it costs a lot of money. So I've been like limited to what I can do and what I can actually afford in that. So yeah, that's why I wanted to do this and then people didn't have to pay, which is why I didn't really want to pay myself. Okay, so and you're happy with uh, the outcome so far? Yeah, it's been really, really positive and everyone seems to be enjoying themselves and wanting to come and like when they work, like there's a lot of like natural talent coming through, like a lot and it's really nice to see that and to see like how it's like inspired people and motivated them. Like, to go and get jobs or to like want to go to do uni courses stuff like that and that's like quite touching to me and it's like meant a lot to me that that's happened do you think it's a good thing that something like this is happening in the yeah. community should have been doing this from time ago really man did you get any help any funding or anything like that we haven't got no funding yet but they're saying that we can get all funding and stuff so yeah mm. um you got any stuff coming up any plays or anything like that yeah we're working on now is what we're doing now there's a play about um the kids nowadays, how they're just having sex unprotected, isn't it? Like, oh. And just catching beer stuff, isn't it? So. Something that you weren't taught in school, yeah? Yeah, basically. Oh, okay. So you're definitely enjoying it and you're going to keep yeah. it up? Yeah. Is no. it keeping you out of trouble? I'm here every, every Thursday. Yeah? Come every Thursday. Whatever else I'm doing, I stop what I'm doing. I come here. It keeps me out of trouble. It keeps me indoors. Basically, it's just something that should have been here from a long time ago. You get me? So what is the production which is to come? Um, it doesn't actually have a name, <laughs> yeah, but it's basically based in the school and it's um, it's touching on all the things like sex, drugs, alcohol, set within a classroom and then also a house and it switches between the two and it's a, it's like a comedy with quite, each of the characters hopefully someone should be able to relate to, but they're a bit like of a stereotype of the character but they're still relatable so you can still emphasise with the character and you still believe in the character and still a, like a realism about it. Okay, thank you. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. All right, bye. you just sitting at home saying you want to do something or you're going to pay a lot of money just to get into an acting school and then you feel like you're not around the right people or mm. you feel uncomfortable because they've been doing it for a long time and you just started. 
Might as well just come start from start from scratch like we were doing in it and yeah, yeah. build up from there, innit? Okay. Yeah. Alright, thanks man. Cool, bro.